Dr. Amanda with Straight Smile Solutions, straightsmilesolutions.com. And I think that this um, vlog will resonate for anyone who's providing any type of orthodontic services in their practice. It doesn't matter if you're a general dentist, a pediatric dentist, a prosthodontist, or an orthodontist. I'm gonna have some tricks and tips today that I've been collecting for about six months. I've been really going out of my way to listen to a lot of webinars and um, uh, the Invisalign Summit and everything, you know, podcasts, and I've been making notes and I have some additional revenue boosting ideas and they're not all gonna work for you. Matter of fact, you might think some of these are super ridiculous, but they're working for some people. So I'm just gonna list them and you know if they work for you give it a shot so i mean right now especially if you're in network with insurance you know you only have so much that you can charge for that invisalign for those braces and sometimes a lot of doctors are like gosh the margins margins are so slim now you know i used to charge eight thousand a case now i've charged five thousand a case um you know margins are slim how do i make extra revenue and there's all kinds of you know take a page from chipotle where guac is always extra. There's ways to get extra revenue. And I'm not talking about upcharging. These are options that the patient can opt into or not opt into. They are different than the price of the actual orthodontic treatment. So patient does not have to get them. They're just bells and whistles. They're, you know, extra bonuses. So let's start with an obvious, well, maybe not an obvious one. This one may not work for everyone, but if you own your own building or if you have your own parking lot, with designated spaces. You can take two or three spaces, put up, you know, you can get a sign made of this to print for 50 bucks, put it on a pole if you're allowed to do that. And you can call them VIP spots. And of course you wanna say what the VIP program is, but this can be parking. If parking is a premium and you don't have copious parking, um, it's a great idea to have premium parking spots and you can sell those, you know, and they get a placard um, and it's gonna be an upgrade fee and it's good for two years or the, you know, um, you definitely want expiration on date. I don't want them passing it off, but, or it can be, you know, good for six months after, you know, you're expecting the orthodontic treatment to be done, but then they get first dibs, you know, at the best parking spots. And it's no different than you go shopping at Walmart and sometimes they have, you know, premium parking for EV or stuff like that. So just like that, there's a lot of people who are often in a hurry that would pay extra. An extra, believe it or not, it's usually going for about $500 for a two year period just for premium parking. And there's no guarantee, it's subject to availability. And of course, your front desk is gonna have to police it. So, you know, a little tricky. I mean, if other people are parking there that aren't, I mean, it's not owned by the state, so you can't go necessarily get it towed. So you're gonna have to police it yourself. So a little bit of a hassle, but, um, you know, if, if definitely, I think if for the extra stuff, I think that you definitely want to consider giving a bonus, whoever sells the most extras in a month or something like that. So that there's some incentive for your team to be charging for extras. Again, totally optional. Okay. Next thing that you can do just to give all kinds of ideas is this one. I thought this one was hilarious until the orthodontist that was talking about it said that and they were in a very low income area. I think it was an urban area, um, Medicaid for the most part. Um, and you know, this is super op optional, but they said that almost 50 to 80% of people said yes when presented to this, but they call it the clean teeth club, or maybe you can come up with another name, which is where when your patient comes in for their braces appointments, we will take the wires out and we will brush and floss your patient, the patient for you. We're not giving them a cleaning. This doesn't substitute for a regular cleaning. We will just brush and floss them. Now I kind of do that anyways, a lot of the time. So, um, or I send the patients to go do it themselves, but flossing, no, I don't do that for them. So some parents really want their, you know, that's a concern of theirs for braces. So they're willing to pay an extra $500 during the braces treatment upfront. These are upfront revenues, okay? They're not necessarily financing these. They're not bundling these with the other treatment. I mean, if they're using like care credit or something, you can probably bundle it with that, but you can't add it on the actual um, fees for orthodontic treatment. It's separate, um, but people are willing to do that, you know? Um, yeah, patient comes in, take the wires out. Uh, we'll, we'll build in an extra 15 minutes or 10 minutes into their appointment time, and we'll make sure that they leave with very clean gums and teeth. Um, you know, hilarious, but it works. I mean, there's people that are willing to do that. It's a significant concern from the parent. You can disclose them, whatever you gotta do. We work extra on oral hygiene, um, but we do it for them. Okay, 
What else? Of course, retainers are huge. You've got to bring up the retainer thing. And I've got tons of videos about the opportunity with retainers. Bring it up on the front end. I like to say you get one set of retainers, doctor's choice, whatever's best with treatment. But we recommend, especially if you're doing a lot of clear retainers, um, we recommend a new retainer every six months to a year for life. So with this program, and do not do retainers free for life. That is the biggest mistake. So dumb to do that because what's going to happen is you're going to devalue your practice when it comes to sell it, time to sell it if you have that liability. But you can fix the price of the retainers if they opt into this program for an additional 400, 500, whatever. Everything could be 500. Um, where their additional retainers, they can get unlimited for $50, $40, something like reasonable where you're not going to lose money on it if you're sending it out, if you have to send it out. Um, ideally, you only want to do this if you have a scanner. That way the scans are stored as an STL file and you just push a button. Now, they can get five uppers, five lowers, or, you know, they pay, or you can do a subscription thing where they annually, you know, they opt into this program and annually they'll get charged, you know, $99 and they get an upper and a lower every year, something like that. But all different ways you can do it. Again, you don't want to do it for free. You want to just do it at a fixed cost for life. So what, you know, 10 years, 20 years down the road, if they come back and they need, but you need to say, this is only if you don't need a new scan. If you need a new scan, it's going to be a different price, $200 or something like that, you know, but something where they, it's peace of mind. It's almost like an insurance investing in your smile um, because there's enough parents out there who know what they can get charged, you know, if their kid loses the retainer. So they want to know what the price is up front and they want to be able to secure that price up front. So that is an awesome idea. Charge that also on the front end and let them know it's gonna be 50% off if they do it now. Um, otherwise it's 800 to $1,000 if they do it later at the end of treatment. So people will definitely, you know, and that's the smartest thing you can do because one of the biggest reasons for complaints and bad reviews with ortho is the whole retention process. They feel like they're getting gypped. They feel like they're getting upsell. Be transparent on the front end what they're gonna get and how they can ensure their smile for life at you know very low low rates if something gets lost no stress less stress for the parents matter of fact they can even pre-purchase if they want to at a discount you know four uppers and four lowers like a vivera or you could sell viveras you know up front for a discount they can already pre-purchase it that way you get your money up front or you can have in-house for a slightly cheaper price but um also i recommend i mean sometimes you do need a bonded retainer it's very rare that i do them you know but open bites, uh, phrenectomy patients, that's about it. Everyone else who wants a bonded, and this is where you can have this conversation up front, that's an additional fee. It is additional work for me, additional cost for me, because you're making them good, you're gonna send them out, and breakage and share time. So I'm gonna charge an extra $500 if you want bonded retainers, and then I have to do an Essex over it, which is included. So, and make sure that they're committing to that upfront so that I know, you know, if they want a bonded, this is the time to let us know. Normally it's going to be 800. I'm going to, it's going to be 500 if you commit to it up front. Um, they're only warranted for 30 days, 60 days, or you could also have a package to ensure bonded retainers where they pay a low fee um, annually that auto bills, you know, $49, $99, where if it breaks, we'll come in and fix it. Nothing wrong with that. A lot of parents will definitely do that. And it just keeps auto billing and they have that insurance policy. And then after they're no longer on the insurance, for the um for the bonded retainer then they have to pay they have to pay five hundred dollars to get it replaced or you know something like that but you need to spell those fees out up front work with your team work with how they're going to benefit if they sell these things i have so many more ideas for additional upgrades and uh revenue opportunities oh one more before i go thought of another one that came up um color club so color club's another idea um you could even bundle this in if you wanted to um, with the clean teeth club. But color club is where they get a couple wild cards um, to come get their colors only changed, you know, for holidays, birthdays, stuff like that. It's not an actual appointment. All they're doing is getting colors changed. They're not going to see the doctor. They can come in on an off day or whatever or an off time, but, you know, subject to availability. But they get a free pass, almost like a coupon to get their colors changed. And a lot of times people love having that flexibility to be part of the color club just to get different colors rainbow and they can have special colors too that maybe you have set aside patterns you know you can show examples of what is available with the public color club i never did rainbows unless it was someone's birthday and that was only if i had time 
But for younger patients, Rainbow is really cool and it takes a lot of time. You know, there's all kind of cool patterns. So you could actually demo some of the cool patterns that you can do for your more artistic people. It takes about 30 minutes to do a cool pattern, but there are definitely parents that would purchase Color Club. Um, and this type of stuff really actually gets a lot of patients referred to you because people see these cool patterns and they're like, wow, that's so cool. That's really, really cool. So anyways, if you do these, you know, these suggestions, I can pretty much guarantee you, you're going to have an additional 500 to a thousand per patient in just cash revenue up front, um, which is awesome, right? Um, why not? Why not? All right. Thanks so much. Hopefully that was helpful. Take care.